Hey you guys, welcome to Tuesday Tasting with Taja. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some oatmeal cookies. Except for I hate oatmeal cookies because, I don't know, but I don't like them shits. So, I'm finna use quinoa instead of oatmeal. And I also don't know why that's a thing for me. But it's the same reason that I like dried cranberries but not raisins even though they taste pretty much the same because I got a real persnickety palate. And don't ask me, but if I said this one thing is better tasting, then damn it, it is. Okay, so that's that's that. So, what I have here is a bag of quinoa, okay? So, here we go. I'm going to show you the flaker. We're going to make our own quinoa flakes, and then we're going to get to the cookies. All right, here go the flaker. I, this, I think that's German. So, it's called Messerschmitt's flaker, whatever that's called. I don't know. I'm going to pour your little grains up in there in this part. I'm going to turn on my machine here. There you go. We going from this, okay, to there. See how it's all smashed? And it's just that simple, y'all. So if you want to use roll oats or whatever, then just go ahead, but I'm not doing it. All right, another thing you're going to need for this recipe is three quarters cup of applesauce. Now, y'all know I don't keep nothing like that prepackaged up in here. I got to always make my own and shit. Sometimes you could be annoyed because you're like, God damn it. I just want some fucking quick cookies right goddamn now. But... I can't just go in the fridge and open up a jar, but it is quick. We're going to hop to the Vitamix. I done put a little apple in there, and I had half a sweet potato I had cooked already, and I ain't used from this morning because I made sweet potato pancakes, so I'm going to throw that in there too because fuck it, chuck it, put it in a bucket. But the Vitamix need a little liquid to get it moving around. I got this spiced cherry rum. Don't nobody drink it because it tastes cinnamony and shit or whatever. Or spicy, let me see. That's actually pretty tasty. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be good. So let's hit the Vitamix. I done already hit the bottle. I feel that already. All right, so you see my little apples? I got my little sweet potato in there too. It don't matter, put, put some shit in there. Boom, baby, okay? I'm trying to tell you what. Oh, good, good. Goodness, this is going to be some drunken donkey quinoa cookies. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's it. Now, like I said, now that wasn't as fast as opening up a poison jar, but it was pretty fast anyway. Shit, if you can't do that, then you're just a lazy bum. Get off my channel. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put three quarters cup of your applesauce. Okay. That's good. That ain't even got no sugar or nothing in there. That's real good, y'all. Oh my goodness. Now I already added that um that cherry spice rum flavor, but I'm still finna put my, my vanilla because the vanilla is always where it is at. You can measure it if you want. It's a teaspoon of vanilla. I don't goddamn measure nothing. You know that a half a cup of brown sugar, okay? And you're gonna need six tablespoons of coconut oil. Melt it. One a teaspoon of cinnamon but i'm not finna do cinnamon because you know what do you know why do you know why for all my good followers they watch me on friday why you think i'm not finna use cinnamon today what would i use instead dun, 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 dun. spice bush berry powder oh you just gotta smell it every time all right so i'm finna put you know like because i don't know if this gonna come out good my cookies but i'm finna i'm finna try it anyway shit That look like enough. Because I don't measure. <laughs> oh, by the way, you want to preheat your oven to 350. I haven't done that this time because I got my new wave oven from up out the basement. The new wave oven! You don't have to preheat it. It don't put off hardly no heat at all. It's cool to touch. You don't have to worry about the kids and all that. And in the summertime when it's already baking hot outside, you ain't got to have it baking hot inside because you baking hot cookies. You understand? Or whatever the fuck. So I, I went on ahead and pulled that out because I'm sick of having to fool around. Preheating and all that kind of foolishness. Ain't nobody got time for that. And it's hot as hell too. I'm going to get me a half a cup of flour. Okay. Of course, I get the unbleached all-purpose flour from Boyfriend Joe's. Okay, and then what you also want to do is you want to get your little cup and a half of, of your quinoa flakes or your roll oats, whatever you into. So you want to get a half a teaspoon of salt. 
and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, at this point, if you wanted to put raisins up in here, you can, but raisins is nasty as shit and I already done told y'all that. So what I'm finna do is I'm finna use some dried cherries, okay? And you can also use dried cranberries, currants, blueberries, use whatever you want. And also, you can add some nuts. And I got my sprouted walnuts right here. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some chocolate in here also. Let's forget that. I am putting chocolate in here. I got it. Shaping up good. All right, so the next thing you wanna do, get you a cookie sheet or a baking tray or a piece of parchment paper, not foil. Don't be cooking with no foil. It's toxic and dangerous and stupid, okay? We just gonna take some and put it in here on our parchment paper. So, these gonna go in the oven on 350 for about 10 minutes. Here we go. Also, with the new wave oven, you gotta be careful because it's a convection oven. Just like my real oven, a convection oven too. But it might take shorter to cook than whatever, like, the directions say. If you're looking at a recipe on the line or something like that there. I had um, the rest of the batter, you know, I just put in some, some plastic wrap and I wrapped it up and put it in the refrigerator. And then you can make it whenever you want. By the way, you could use some gluten-free flour if you like, you know, gluten intolerant and they should turn out exactly the same way. Our cookies is ready! Y'all, I'm a little hypey because mm, they smell so good. And also, they done got done faster than we said. I told you. I told you you better watch them. I took them out in nine minutes. They see they was getting too brown. I like a light skin cookie. Boom! Can't why everything cookies, okay? I want to eat at these, but I know they hot as the dickens, and I'm not finna burn my little mouth. Cause them, them cherries up in there, and them chocolate chips, I'm gonna fucking hurt my damn feelings eating on those hot as they are coming out the oven. I'm finna burn my little fingertips, my little tips. Come on, loose! Come on, loose! Burn my tips. They smell sweet and they feel like how does the devil's lips in my hands? I don't want no devil lip cookies, okay? So I'm finna act like I know. Okay. I forgot that quick. I put the red spice berry tire on it. So I was like, mm, what's that flavor? Mm-hmm. That's an extra good cookie. Mm-hmm. And then that raggedy oatmeal or nasty raisin mush. Mm-hmm. I gotta tell you about that spice berry. That spice berry powder I made again. If you miss Friday's episode, going back to the Friday, Frugal Friday, foraging. And I'm telling you, it's gosh darn damn delicious. It's good goddamn delicious, okay? Mmm. All right, let me get a little bit of that cherry up in there see what that's about. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hot. See that? See that chair right there? Trying to hurt my feelings. Mm, I'm about to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Them cherries, y'all? Woo! All right. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Remember, share, follow, like, comment, whatever, and get your tickets! Get your tickets! Tuesday Tasting Live next Tuesday, September 24th. I'm trying to tell you what. If you in Philly or nearby anywhere, grab your ticket off Eventbrite or the website, wherever you want. The link is in the bio and on in this video description. Anyway, hope you learned something for today. Make some delicious quinoa cookies or oatmeal if that's your twist. With cherries or raisins if that's your twist. If, that's, if those are your twists, your twist is nasty. Just to let you know you got a nasty twist going. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, be decent to yourselves by making some of these delicious cookies. And getting your ticket to Tuesday Tastings next week. And then be decent everybody else.